Level 3, Unit 19, subtracting using numbers up to 7. 19.1, subtract 1 to 5 from numbers up to 17. Example A, 14 minus 1. Let's first take the 1's position and subtract those two numbers. 4 minus 1 is 3. We have nothing to subtract from the 1, so the 1 carries over for an answer of 13. Example B, 15 minus what number equals 12? Let's count backwards from 15. 15 to 14 to 13 to 12. How many times did we move? Three times, so we're subtracting three. Unit 19.2, subtract one to six from numbers up to 19. Example A, 19 minus two. So we're gonna first take the ones position and we're gonna subtract those two numbers. So nine minus two, count backwards in your head, nine, eight, seven, goes in the ones position, and then there's nothing to subtract in the 10, so we carry over the one for an answer of 17. Example B, what number, when we take five away, is gonna give us 13? Now remember this number's gotta be larger than 13, so basically we're taking 13 and going backwards by adding five. So let's do that. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's our five spots, which means we started with the number 18. 19.3, subtracting one to six from numbers up to 23. Example A, 20 minus one. Now I know you guys can probably subtract this mentally, but I wanna show you the borrowing technique again. If we look at our ones position, we can't take one away from zero. So therefore, remember, we have to make a number there. So we're gonna borrow from the two, make it a one. We're gonna take that 110, and we're gonna apply it over here to the ones position. So now we have 10 minus one, which is nine, and what do we have left in the tens column? But a one for an answer of 19. Example B. 20 minus what number equals 18? Let's count backwards. We go from 20 to 19, that's one. 19 to 18 means we are subtracting two. 19.4, subtracting one to seven from numbers up to 25. Example A, 24 minus two. We're gonna subtract the one's position first. Four minus two is two. Then in the tens position, there's nothing to subtract, so the two carries over for an answer of 22. Example B, what number minus seven equals 14? We're gonna take this 14 and we're gonna work backwards until we have seven positions higher. So that's gonna be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Now double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, means that we had to start with the 21 in order to subtract seven to give us an answer of 14. 19.5. Subtract using numbers one to seven randomly. Example A, 21 minus seven. If we look at the ones positions and we try to subtract, you can't take seven away from one. You have to have more than seven to subtract, or at least seven. So we're gonna borrow from the two, make it a one. We take that 10 and we add it over here to the ones column. So now we have 11, 11 minus seven. Okay, count backwards, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, means we have four. Then we have to subtract the tens column, but there's nothing but there to subtract, so we carry over the one for an answer of 14. Example B, 23 minus what number equals 20? Let's look specifically at the ones position. Three minus what number would give us a zero. How many would we have to take away from three to equal zero? Three. 